What's up, Blaze Thompson here this week to talk about the number one in our one, two, three balanced approach to fitness. And if you watch our social media content, you know that recently on Food Chart Fridays, I talked about nutrition bars and meal replacement bars. And I got pretty fired up about these bars. And it goes to a broader question, which really is, what do I do for snacks? So today I wanted to talk about snacks a little bit. And the first thing I wanna say is real food first. The same thing I said on the Facebook video a couple of weeks ago. We always wanna encourage you to eat real food first because our bodies assimilate real food better. We were made to digest whole foods. And when you do that, it's automatically gonna stabilize your metabolism a little bit better than eating something that's processed. Because anytime you eat something that's processed, it gets into your bloodstream quickly. So if I was gonna list snack options and put my top three, it'd be chicken and broccoli. That'd be a two ounce portion of grilled chicken for women or a four ounce portion of grilled chicken for men as a snack. Because we always wanna make sure to get the minimum amount of protein per serving. And that's 60 grams a day for women and 90 grams a day for men as minimum in protein. And if we're eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner with little protein-based snacks in between, that's about 10 grams per meal for women, 15 grams a meal per men. And that one ounce of meat, and we're gonna say any meat, has about seven grams of protein per ounce. So we need to get a two ounce portion for women, more like a four ounce, three to four ounce portion for men for us to meet those daily recommended minimums. And then we need to pair something with the protein. A lot of times when I'm at work, I'll do chicken and broccoli, chicken and spinach, chicken and celery. I like to make it easy. What I do for that is I generally grill up a lot of chicken on the weekend, on Sunday, with my one day to plan and execute my nutrition. And then I get the two ounce individually quick frozen chicken tenders. I put enough of them on the plate or on the pan in the oven if I'm gonna cook it at 350 for 20 minutes or on the grill to make sure that I have got enough snacks to cover me across the week. So generally that's gonna be two of those snacks per day. That's gonna be two tenders for me at each snack. So that's four a day across five days. I gotta have 20 tenders prepared for myself in a week. I bust it out on Sunday. I put them in a big piece of Tupperware, shake them up with barbecue sauce and boom, I'm ready to go. So aside from that, my other snack options would be a Greek yogurt. That makes it very easy. I will do turkey burger because it comes in a pack and I can cut it into four pieces. If I was a lady, I'd cut it into eight pieces. It would give me the proper portion size right there. And then from there, I would use protein bars or protein shakes as a last option. Some other things I might use if I was on the road or running around would be beef jerky. It's something easy to execute that I can take with me and I'd include something like an apple to go with that. It wouldn't be my go-to move for the majority of the time, but it'd be something I do every once in a while. And worst case scenario, I'd buy something in the gas station. They got muscle milk as well as protein bars in gas stations now. So when it comes to protein bars, because that's when I went off on big time the other week on Food Chart Fridays Live on Facebook, where we talk about what's going on on the ground with real clients' food and information every single week. So check it out if you haven't checked it out yet. We get some awesome content there to help you on your quest. What we talked about with protein bars was meeting the requirements, trying to avoid excess calories, excess sugar, and excess carbohydrates. So again, that means the bar needs to have at least 10 to 15 grams of protein. Ideally, your protein to carbohydrate ratio on those bars would be even. Lots of people, when they bring in protein bars, bring in Kind bars or Cliff bars, and I do not consider those protein bars. Those are calorie bars. They're built for people that are doing hiking, that are gonna be burning lots of calories in a day. Ideally, the protein content and the carbohydrate, carbohydrate content proportionally would be very similar. So I'm gonna have 15 grams of protein and about 15 grams of carb per serving. And I wanna keep the sugar content at five grams of sugar or less. A lot of these protein bars have 10, 15, 20 grams of sugar per bar, per bar. And that is five grams of sugar in one tablespoon of sugar. So if you got a bar with 15 grams of sugar in it, you got three tablespoons of sugar in that bar that's supposed to be healthy. And we know that sugar is gonna spike, spike your blood, um, spike your blood glucose levels and make you more likely to store fat. So. That's the basics of what we're trying to get you to do. Find a convenient snack option that you can execute most of the time. I'll tell you what, I don't generally get super excited about coming to eat my chicken and broccoli. I'm knocking it down. I'm, what I say is I'm not making love to the food. I get it done quickly. A lot of times I'll take a handful of spinach, I do it in front of people here in the gym, I cram it in my mouth, I chew it, I eat the two pieces of chicken and I get it done. Worst case scenario, I'll take protein powder in the scooper, dump it in my mouth, 
shake it up in my head because that's the blender and then just swallow it and it's over with a handful of spinach with an apple with a small mandarin orange getting the protein with the secondary nutrient to go with it which for me as i try to keep my calorie content and my carb content down to two carbs a day i suggested with the common sense approach to nutrition when i want to maintain my current weight I choose fruits and vegetables to go with that, low calorie versions. And I use those protein bars and protein shakes sparingly to help me make sure that I keep a level of my diet and meet my obligations of eating every three hours, which is what works for me and what I teach to folks. So the last piece I'll say is at most, those quick, easy options like protein bars and protein shakes should take up 30% of your diet. And I'd really like to see them be more like 10% of your diet. So that's like one time a day two times a day max uh, to make sure that you do not miss. Because when you miss, you're telling your body, oh God, you're not gonna give me food and it's gonna be more readily to store fat. So, in the end, I hope that you will be well, that you'll plan ahead, because failure to plan is planning to fail. We've heard that before. And make sure you've got what you need to execute through the week. Have those couple of backup options ready. Maybe put a protein bar in your purse or keep one in your car or your gym bag just in case and be ready to rock and roll. As always, if you've got any questions, I am here to help. Sending you lots of love. Wishing you all the best. One rep, one meal, one moment at a time. Be well.